Hey everyone, so this is going to be a little process video of a Stranger Things inspired goodie box that I made for my nephew recently. He's a really big fan of the show, so I thought I'd make him something a little fun. Um, if you want to see how I put everything together, keep on watching. The first thing I do is tape up the bottom of the box. Then I go ahead and I grab my brushes and my acrylic paints because I want the inside of the box to kind of look like the upside down in the show. The black will be for the darkness of the upside down and the white will be for the spores. Next, I'll get all of the candy and snacks and put them into a treat box and make a sort of supply kit that you might find in the store. Um, and this was inspired by one of the episodes in season one. And um, I thought it'd be more fun than just throwing everything into the mailing box later. For the kit, I'll need everything on Dustin's supply list. For Nutty Bars, I'm using these peanut butter crackers. They do sell Nutty Bars in the store, but these look more like what was in the show. And to replace the now discontinued bazooka, I'm using Double Bubble. Here I have two packs of Pez and the Jack in the Box Pez Dispenser, which I think came out in 99, and maybe the reason why they turned them over in the show, but I'm not 100% on that information. Two rolls of Smarties travel size Pringles, travel size vanilla wafers, which were a little too big to put in the treat box, so I had to take some out and put them in a treat bag with a label that I made myself. A simple bag of trail mix, and a box of runts, which I know weren't in the show, but apple and bananas were, so I took those out and put them in a treat bag as well. And as a bonus, um, I'm adding a bar of Three Musketeers, as well as a bar of whatchamacallit. After putting the box together for the kit, I went ahead and created a label in an app on my phone. Um, the tagline, I paraphrased Dustin in one of the episodes. And on the bottom, I added a list of all of the items that I would be putting into the box. So after making sure that the mailing box was all dry, I went ahead and put all of the items inside. Um, it did take me a few tries to figure out where I wanted everything to go, but that was just to make sure that it didn't look like a big mess once it got to my nephew and also to make sure that um, none of the items would be crushed or ruined while in transit to him. 
And while I was planning this box out, I knew that I wanted to incorporate Joyce's Christmas lights in here somehow. So when I found these battery operated ones at Walmart during Christmas, I knew it was the perfect finishing touch. And lastly, I'm adding a little note to my nephew so he knows exactly what to do.